Good morning. This is a personal view on tour. And today we've come all the way to a secret location to Anthony's studio. Now, I've known Anthony for a long time. He's, you know, like all of us that make films and videos, we've got a circle of friends that we bounce things off. And with Anthony, he's the sort of person that we really bounce ideas about colour and grading over. In fact, if you go all the way back to the beginning, Anthony was one of those people that wandered around with a GH2 trying to get results out of them. And I can, I could tell you stories about the GH2, but I'm not. Anyway, two weeks ago, Anthony acquired a Blackmagic micro panel, um, such as his interest in colour and all the rest of it. And this morning I've spent some time looking at what he does and I find it really interesting because I'm a Resolve user, Anthony's a Resolve user, and watching the way that we go around grading is completely different. We both start from different places, we both lose completely different controls, and Anthony has been telling me that the way that this thing has started to make him work has changed even what he does. So what I'm hoping to do is to get Anthony to show us a few things and maybe even talk to camera. Bonjour, personal view. Andy managed to put me in front of the camera. I'm not a big fan of it, but I thought I'd make an effort. So we're here to talk about the micro panel from Blackmagic. Uh, I've been very hesitant to buy it because uh, as I'm growing older, I'm just taking time before I buy things. I, I, I look at reviews, but certainly I think about whether should I get it or not and uh, whether it's going to actually make a difference in my productivity and what I want to do. And uh, not so long ago, I went to the BSC in, uh, in London, BSC show, which I recommend to everyone. Uh, it's at the end of uh, February, if I remember well, or the beginning of February. And uh, it's, uh, you know, there I managed to actually meet with some people who had that micro panel, and I thought, that looks very interesting. And the thing that really made a difference for me is being able to do two things at the same time. So for example, if you have a mouse and a tablet with a mouse, can you sign your name with a mouse? Probably, but is it gonna look as good as signing it with a pen and a tablet? Probably not. And I think that this is exactly what the micro panel is. It's an extension of the DaVinci Resolve software, allows you to explore color grading rather than just following rules and things. You know, you can put your image in full screen and just play with every knob you can think of. I mean, it covers pretty much all the functionality that are, I would say, 80% of what you're doing. So you're still going to need to use the keyboard, but I think it just really helps you exploring new ways of color grading rather than just following what you were doing with your mouse. And sometimes you get some very happy accident. One thing that really I thought was very interesting is the fact that you can actually play with multiple controls at the same time. You can play, you know, with your mids, your gains all at the same time and, uh, you know, end up with color grading or color corrections that are quite, you know, interesting and probably something I wouldn't have done if actually I was just doing it one by one with the mouse. Before it was all about the numbers and the graphs and this and that. And then I realized it was time to let go and be a little bit more artistic. You know, we need to actually understand that when you shoot raw with a camera, especially in the world of today, you know, you can, you can be an artist and express yourself the way you want. You know, there's not a lot of regulation when it comes to actually put your footage on YouTube or whatsoever. So if you have an intent, if you want to create an image, you should let yourself go. Two plus two does not equal four necessarily when it comes to art, you know, do whatever you think is right for you. And I think this is the sort of tools that really allow you to explore your color grading. And we'll be going in a minute, we'll be going over, uh, you know, one or two footage that uh, I've been uh, shooting while I was on holiday. And, uh, you know, I will just show you, you know, what I do and how easily I feel that I can get to the result I want. Nothing too extreme, but, Let's have a look. We're just gonna look at those two shots that I took on holiday. One is uh, the Monument Valley. The other one is just outside of uh, Salt Lake City, is uh, the Bonneville uh, Salt Flat. Um, so I thought that uh, just to show you the power of the panel, uh, I'm not gonna do anything complicated. I'm just gonna keep it to one nod for both shots and just show you how quickly you can get a very reasonable result. 
So I'm gonna start with this one in the Monument Valley and I'm just gonna push my lights a little bit. Um, okay, just go to the top there. I'm just going to put the shadow down a little bit. Okay, just look at my meats, put them up a little bit so we can see what's happening there. And uh, I'm probably going to add a little bit of a saturation. Okay. Now I'm probably going to actually balance my temperature a little bit just to give it a nice little warm feeling. And just to finish it, I might just change the highlight color, give it a little bit of a green tint a little bit just to and the same with the meads and that's it you know just doing the two at the same time always very very small amounts of it and um, I would say yeah I'm gonna probably keep the shadow a bit up a little bit and just lower down the meads and I would say that uh, just here we've got a perfectly good shot ready to uh, to go of course we can do much more i just wanted to show you with just one note what you could do very quickly so let's move on to the bonneville shot so once again i'm gonna put the highlights up always start with the highlights and then just gonna go down with the shadow and still doing the highlights at the same time so again as i was saying you telling you earlier you can do two things at the same time which is quite quite nice so I'm just going to actually put the shadows up a little bit and just go down with my meads a little bit. Just like still move your light highlights. I just want to keep that mountain there quite visible because that's important. And uh, again, I'm probably going to actually have a look at the temperature and just give it so you can you could actually go for blue depending on what you want to do you know do you want to do to give it a morning feeling or more like an evening feeling with a warm thing after that it's for you to decide we're just gonna go for a sort of a bluish morning feeling quite cold in a way and um, then on the colors of the highlights I might just just push it a tiny bit towards the yellow, just a tiny bit, and probably on the meads, I'm just going to push a tiny bit to the green. Okay, and let's have a look at our contrast. Do we want to do something with the contrast? A bit like that, and just probably that's it. I would say that's a Perfectly good shot. As you can see, you get a, a, a very, uh, very good result in just a, a few seconds. Obviously, you can do much more in DaVinci Resolve, but the whole point here was to show you what you can do with just the panel without touching the keyboard, not doing anything else, just one node very quickly. Uh, there's always a lot more we can do. And that's it. That concludes our little demo. Okay, so it's getting time to go now, and it's been six hours of Antian and I looking at different grips, grading them in different ways, and I've learned a pile of stuff today. You know, I've, I thought I knew a load of shortcuts. Anthony showed me new shortcuts. We've had a lot of fun arguing about how fast a crossfade should be, whether you should use separate timelines and all the rest of it, and you know, as I get in my car and drive away from here tonight, I'm probably going to be thinking to myself, do you know what, £870 is not so bad for one of these things. And I could visualise one of these things in, in my editing suite, in my studio. So there you are, and there it was.